What's up, Brisbane Heat fans? Welcome back to another edition of Hearts in the Hot House. Well, we had a little bit of sad news here at the Brisbane Heat last week. The big kahuna, Matthew Hayden, he's decided he's not going to play in BBL2. The boys were very disappointed because we love having Matt the bat around the dressing room. Brilliant last year in BBL1, our most runs, our highest score. But the big fella is going to be swapping his bat for a surfboard and heading over to Australia a bit more often. He's very busy, so we, all, we wish Matty all the best. Thanks for being there in BBL1, and we hope to see you around next year a couple of times around the dressing room when we're winning in BBL2. Thanks, Matty. And speaking of big hitters, well, another Brisbane Heat slogger, Shane Watson. He's over at the ICC T20 World Cup at the moment. He started the tournament with a bang, as we expected. Two man of the match performances, one against the plucky Irish. He got plenty of runs and wickets against them and then against the dangerous West Indians. So the Aussies have gotten through to the Super 8s. Best of luck to Shane when he takes on the Indians on Saturday night. And another one, our Brisbane Heat ambassador, Jody Fields, will be playing for Australia against the Indian women's team over there. So good luck to her as well. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I had a little dig in Adelaide Strikers play. Well, unfortunately, it's happened again. I've got more news on the Strikers and a few of their mishaps. The boys had a rare day off. They, they took the new recruit, Luke Pommers, back out on the water, a few of the Brisbane Heat boys, Chris Lynn, Ryan Harris, Ali McDermott, Peter Forrest, for a beautiful day of boating. They were kind enough to let an Adelaide Strikers player tag along. Now, this guy is a self-proclaimed outdoorsman. He loves his boating. He loves his fishing. He loves his pigging. But unfortunately, going through the channels out there at South Straybroke Island, he somehow managed to run his boat aground up on a sandbar, Absolutely shocking. He was just lucky he had half the Brisbane Heat team there to help him out. I don't think he'll be getting that much help in BBL2, but hey, we'll see what happens. Boys definitely needed that day off. They've been training hard. There was four days of cricket through the week. Then they had two days out in the field in club cricket on the weekend. So it's not all, it's not all jet skiing and boating, but they definitely deserve that day off. Having said that, I've got to get to training, so I'll see you next week, guys. See you soon.